Yeah. So when did the surgical dabbling start? Not until last year. And I was like, okay, I'm finally ready to, you know, get breasts, okay. trachea, shave, and my jaw. What do they do with the jaw? Just shave it, make yeah. it more rounded. But I feel like I don't really see that. There's a nerve that goes right through here. And it exits right here. When you do this aggressive type of surgery, you have a high risk of injuring that nerve. You'll be numb, you won't feel anything. If you're kissing someone, you'll have no sensation. Are you kidding me? These juicy suckers are made for kissing. I'm at the peak of my career right now, so I wouldn't be able to do such an obscene yes, surgery. Yes, you'd be out of whack for a couple months. The things with the nerves and the jaw, it's scary, honestly, because one thing can go wrong and then I'm changed forever. I have an English bulldog, and I went down to kiss him one day, and he came up at the same time. So I got his tooth through my nose, and then um, the surgery. All of this bottom part, everything, it was all there. He removed all of this. And you didn't know he was going to do that? No. Because your septum is gone. The problem with your nose is this tissue underneath here is white. The tissue just doesn't look good. But I can take a small piece of rib, make an incision on the right nostril, and we have a guy who's a professional at prosthesis, and I'll bet you that he can fit a prosthesis for you that will look 100 times better than that prosthesis you have. Thanks to Dr. Nassif and Robert Barron, I have two nostrils and a prosthetic that fits securely and also looks great. I was 19 and went to the routine doctor and found a breast lump, and so they wanted me to take it out. At the time, I was in a really toxic, unhealthy relationship. My ex kind of interjected and said, well, hey, let's do a breast implant. Okay. And waking up out of that surgery, it was a little weird because my lump's still there. So when I push on this one direction, it will discharge from my nipple. Every day? Every day. You need to have these implants removed, that breast explored at that time. What I would love to do is get you a good result with no implants. After my surgery, my breasts finally feel normal. I no longer have this leaking lump. I'm ready to let go of the hurt from my past relationship and move on with my life.